But when he has to actually come at you, especially against a character like Diddy Kong, who can respond out of shield with banana so easily, it gets real tough. Definitely tough. And speaking of tough, can we talk about how ferocious Ned has been? I mean, this is something no one saw happening. Him making it all the way to winner's semis of this bracket. Yeah, uh, he had a huge obstacle to go through in Zenodo earlier, who I believe was the second seed. No, uh, Ally would be second. So Ned was sixth and Ally, or and Zenodo was third, I believe. So definitely a pretty notable upset, but Ned, he's not playing any games here, aside from Super Smash Bros. for you. Definitely not. Now, I know you yourself are a Cloud expert, so tell me your thoughts on this matchup. I think Cloud does win. A lot of people seem to think that Mario can pose a problem because of Flood and Cape and the combos from the ground at the lower percents, but I think Cloud's sheer range advantage, wow, the ally making me eat my words, <laughs> but I really do think Cloud, Cloud's sheer range advantage makes this matchup very tough for Mario. It's only a very slight advantage for Cloud, but I do think Cloud still wins. No, I, you know, I'm inclined to agree with you as well, but what Ally has demonstrated is he is good at getting through the range that Cloud has, getting his hands on Ned, and then converting huge with options like Caves. But speaking of conversions, Ned cutting up that stock with that limit broken cross slash, and we're back to square one. Don't get knocked off stage against Cloud, man. He'll find a way to trap you in the corner every single time. Ned, definitely no exception to that. And I love that Ned as he's even changing his distance away from Ally, he is charging up the limit. Right there, the reward is has been reaped as that fully charged limit is available. And Ally kind of getting greedy with that air chase. Went for a back air when he wasn't properly horizontally spaced around Ned. What is this kid doing? He's actually using finishing touch post. I don't even know if that would have worked pre-nerf, to be no, honest. <laughs> it's actually the same on the ground. Only oh. nerfed on the, in the air, yeah. And but that that's totally still, yeah, still a very large effectiveness decrease because you want those air dodge chases with it. Ned just going for the hardest read of all time, but hey man, he's still very much in this. Very slight lead here, but now that allies towards those kill percents, he's going to be really making sure he crosses his T's and dots his I's. Every little spacing interaction means so much against this character. Against this player, Ally is so good at figuring out your tiniest weak point and then blowing it wide open. And, and Ned, I compare him to Nairo in so many ways, but most notably his ability to take momentum and run with it. I don't know what he was thinking cross slashing over there, maybe for predicting something like a B reverse landing. Either way, Ally is the one who has stage control currently, and he has the grab as well. Ned, great match, but it's all for naught. That up smash from Ally was absolutely perfect. And another way in which I compare him to Nairo is the old school Nairo. Before Smash 4, once he was, you know, a fully grown esports man, he used to be kind of shaky with the nerves and get in his own head. And I feel like that is Ned's greatest weakness: is that he wants to win so badly that he's he's almost distracted by it and it can kind of frazzle him in the moment of truth, like you saw right there. Like that side B, for no reason, he could have just held limit and walked away with the match. Definitely, and, e and even when I look at his appearance, he yeah, is eerily reminiscent of a young Nairo. That is definitely one of the <laughs> other ways in which uh, they're comparable, yeah, for sure. Well, let's see if we can maybe see some glimpses of that young man becoming a champion, but oh, Ally, starting off strong with the forward air. Not gonna take the stock, but will definitely write in all caps and make a statement there. Yeah, wise choice by Ned to go for the up B snap to the edge making sure that Flood wasn't going to catch him, because had he not done that, he might have drifted just a little bit above the edge, and that Flood would have pushed him away with no jump. And Ally was trying to space around the dare and go for the F smash. Just came up a bit short, maybe a bit too trigger happy on uh, letting it fly. Ned catching him with the down air on his descent. Wow, using Flood as a counter approach. I love seeing the Mario metagame develop like that. No one was using Flood for quite some time, but Ally definitely pioneering it in his own way. I mean, Mario sucks, right? You need to use every possible tool. Yeah. But, uh, if you it depends who you ask. <laughs> but you Ned. definitely need every tool in your box to deal with a character like Cloud. Oh, definitely, as Ned is demonstrating just how much KO potency this character possesses. Ally, he's down, but I know that he's not out. The problem is, at this kind of a deficit, uh, Ned can certainly put on so much extra credit and gain so much momentum, even if Ally is able to close this stock out. I love how Ned is just stuffing all these aerial approaches with the instant shore hop up airs. And now he's got ally on the ropes, man. I, if I were Ned, I would use this cross slash right now just to guarantee the damage before I even get forced off the stage and have to use it to recover or possibly lose my stock. And especially now, at this near 70, 80% range, it's definitely gonna kill. No sense waiting. Oh, well, unless it's, you know, unless you're just going to throw it blindly. That's not when you want Max, to use man, it. Max, th man, these players have made you eat your words twice so in a row. So many times. I'm full, <laughs> man. I I'm stuffed. Yeah.
Too stuffed. And interesting from Ned, he didn't even want a chance at Ally caping him again, so he goes for a very quick snag onto the ledge and dropping through the platform with that up air. Ally not prepared as Ned continues to build up some of that limit. It's all going to be for naught if Ally can close this stock out here. Trade, oh. and he has to charge limit now, trying to go oh for it, makes it God. back, oh. only to have Ally flood and then cape that stock away. Ally in the triple digits, can he make this comeback a reality? I know he's capable of it. One grab could mean the world for him right now, and I know Ned knows that. Wow, accidentally short hopping the downer that almost cost him his life, or possibly a lot of percent if Ally got the grab. But fortunately, he was able to stick a jab out in time, break him out of that preemptively. Wow, back throw to Flood. What game is this, man? Is this Super Mario Sunshine? I feel like I'm fighting Bowser with that. The big thing is he was trying to get Limit out and force Ned to use it defensively rather than offensively. He needs to do that because he's at such a devastating percent. Oh, bear from Ned, and that's going to be enough. I mean, it was the mid-triple digits. Cloud to up air, it really is the Swiss Army Knife in his toolkit. It does everything. Combo options, KO options at high percent. It's... It's a remarkable move. That was a beautiful air-to-air, -air, man. Ned knew Ally wanted to jump in, or even if he didn't, he wasn't going to come in under him and scoop him for a grab or just run and block the up air. No. He knew Ally needed to do some damage, and he was like, no. Not letting your offensive options even exist right now. One apiece now between Ned and Ally. Ned has had a remarkable tournament thus far. I mean, like you said, he was uh, ranked, I believe, sixth seed? I believe so. Either way, I don't think anyone could see him playing the way that he is right now. Game number three, and we're off to Lilat. So as a Cloud main, uh, I'm sure you have your reservations about this stage. I hate this stage no matter what character I'm playing, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying it before with my man Rod on commentary. I feel like when someone picks me to the stage, it's because they know I'm better and they want to mess my recovery up, right? <laughs> but I don't think that's the case with Ned and Ally. I think Ally might have some kind of tactical reason because I'm pretty sure in his heart of hearts, he knows that he could beat Ned on any given day, right? But Ned's showing up big here. I actually, I know how you were saying, nobody expected this kid to make it this far, but I don't know, man. I've been watching him since I first attended Midwest Mayhem 2, and I got to say, this kid is a beast. I've been a huge fan of his ever since then, and I just really want to see him go the distance, and it might be the day. He really is the dark horse of this tournament. The sleeper agent has been awoken, and certainly taking Ally for a loop now. I mean, we're seeing... Ally, one of the greatest players to ever touch the controller, on the verge of losing his first stock to this quick up-and-comer. By the way, he's 17 years old. I thought he was 16, actually. I guess his birthday was recently. But, yeah, <laughs> kid's, kid's young, man. I mean, this would certainly be the, be the icing on the cake if he's able to take a set from Ally here on this large of a stage. And he was about to take game one, too. So keep in mind, this set, in Ned's mind, could have been 2-0. As long as he's not letting that get to him, he could still walk away with this. Very smart, goes, just goes for a jump. Doesn't swing anything, doesn't give Ally the opportunity to react to some kind of commitment. Ooh, the subtle movement from Ally forcing Ned away and cornered into that left side. And again, Ally, he has him trapped there. Ned forced to use that limit defensively, and that's gonna hurt. It's still more than a percent though, and Ned, huge aerial conversion, and that's gonna put him on the board, drawing first blood in game three. Ally was definitely trying to stuff whatever Ned was trying to do coming down with that up smash, but he's like, nah, man, I'm too fast for you, and I got a sword, so even if that up smash did come out, I still can outrange it. That is the nature of the beast in this matchup, man. You really can't get too close to Cloud if he doesn't let you. And Ned is doing anything but, ooh, an error from Ned. A, a trigger happy again trying to spam the limit charge and ends up using the blade beam on accident. Yeah, definitely, as a Cloud player, one of my least favorite things is when that happens. But Ned working on possibly a two-stock. Oh, my God. Ned, with a godlike call-out, gets the F-Smash, and he is now on set point. If he takes this, he's facing zero in winner's finals. This man is the hometown hero for sure. Crowd definitely blowing up for him. He's young. He's from Chicago. There's so many reasons to root for this guy right now. And Ally definitely representing the old guard for sure. Everyone knows this guy is good. Him winning here wouldn't be quite as exciting. So you can really feel the energy in the room being behind Ned. And I kind of think he feeds off the crowd. That's why you see him not wearing headphones, just absorbing it all in. <laughs> you know who else doesn't wear headphones? Nairo. Oh, yeah. Crowd voice. <laughs> I like that, man. And he's quickly becoming a favorite of mine as well. Just in these 
few games that I've seen from him, he is demonstrating that he has what it takes to compete at the absolute highest level. And again, at such a young age, he can only go up from here. Right, he's got that inner fire, man, and I love seeing that. Yeah, I think as Zero calls it, it's the challenger's spirit, right? Uh, That's a great way to word yeah, it. Because Ally, he is the champion of sorts, right? For him, if, if Ned loses here, it's like, ah, you know what, I did my best against one of the best in the world. If Ally loses here, it's his reputation at stake. Right. So now, because he is on the verge of getting sent to the loser's bracket, expect him to turn up the heat, and we're seeing that right now as Ally puts on some brutal punishment to start this game off proper. He's like, look, kid, I got a lot more to lose than you here. Oh! Oh, no, I thought he was going to hit it on the way down. That just would have been hype. It only does, like, seven damage, but still, man, I tell mean, me that wasn't hype. It's the most exciting seven damage of your life. Yeah, especially with the freeze frames, too. Ooh. Okay, I'm surprised to not have seen him go for a grab, but still going to work his way toward the center of the stage with his jab. And it now looked like he utilized that, that low up air to capitalize on Ally, slightly overextending his hurt box to ensure he could start the combo. Definitely a classic among Cloud players, man. Falling up air is just so good, especially if you fully space it. And now with that limit on deck, this is... Ned's advantage significantly, as long as he doesn't blow that limit facing left again. We saw that two times. Please don't give me a third, Ned. Yeah, we've seen it a couple of times. Ally oh. goes for it all and ends up Ooh. eating a stock because of it. Ned, now a stock away from taking a set from one of the greats of the game. And you know Ally has been thinking, all right, I'm going to just go to Winner's Finals. I'm going to get my rematch with Zero from Get On My Level, try to reestablish the fact that I can actually do that. But no, will he even get that chance? He has a long way to go, to say the least. We have seen Ally come from behind in, this, in the loser's bracket before. Let's see if he can do it again. And of course, it's still way too early to say. I mean, he just needs to get his hands on him here, and he could maybe close it out, and Up Smash would definitely do it. But I just don't know if Ned's going to give him that shot, Max. You got some nervous, slow reactions from both players coming out, missing a couple punish opportunities. But Ally, power shield to back air. He's got him off stage now. But what is going to happen? Oh, wow. You can just sense the nerves in both of these guys, including oh. Ally, who is usually immune to such things. And, and, you know, this is where, when we talk about nerves, Ally certainly has the advantage. Ned being such a young player, he might not be used to this much pressure. Will it make him or will it break him? At the very least, he's got the home crowd. That's definitely his comfort factor here. Ally knows nobody here wants him to win. <laughs> Wow, just holding that edge down like an iron fortress. And, and now he, he's got limit. That's right, that forward throw did afford him the time that he needed to build that fully up. And Ally is certainly at that percentage where he has to be so careful of that cross slash. But he's not taking that to heart at all. He wants to keep the pressure on Ned. He wants to force him to use it in a way where he can only recover with it. And Ally! I knew that was coming and so did Ned though, oh. DIing in. Wow, all of a sudden though, this percent lead has evaporated for Ned. He's still got the limit, though. Yeah, and, and because of that, he is certainly still at a massive advantage. Ally, though, with stage control, can certainly change this game. Ned has to be careful on this landing. And up smash from here, it just might spell game five. Oh, Ooh. that's it! And Ned. never mind, it ended up spelling Ned advancing to winner's finals. That single whiff, and that demonstrates exactly how dangerous of a character Cloud Strife can be. That is a huge win for this kid, taking out one of the top ten in the world. Advancing to winner's finals, uh, I'm sure you guys can hear they're chanting for this kid, man. That is that is excellent. I'm sure we're going to get an interview with him at some point, too. Yeah, it, it definitely yeah. would not surprise wow. me. Ned, wow. Ned, the 